All right, welcome to episode 29 of the Road to SSL series. In the last episode, we had some pretty good teammates, but the final game was a little bit messy. As I said in the last episode, we're on our way to the honeymoon now. I'm pretty sure I'm probably gone by the time this episode came out. Uh, but we're at sitting at Grand Champion 1 Division 4 in 2v2 and Champion 2 Division 3 in 3v3. Um, like I said before as well, I probably won't make it to SSL in this season. It ends in 17 days and I'm pre-recording all of these, but the season should be ending right when I get back home so we can hopefully get our grind back and get back closer to SSL. Um, I am streaming these episodes live if you want to check out my streams when I come back from the honeymoon around June 5th, uh, I'll be streaming more often. Uh, but before we get into the episode, we have the meme of the day, and today we have Dustbin. I didn't exactly do a Dustbin face on for Justin, but I, I made this, I made him a duster, I guess. I, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's get into the episode. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, first game of the episode, we have 2v2. This should hopefully be our close to rank up game for Grand Champion 2, I believe. I got most Meki on the field. We'll see about that. And we've got Jay along with Vatira. No, it's not Vatira. It's Vat Vatarex. He wants to go for this. Maybe a double here. It does miss, but I'll go for the pop here. And then try to get the mid boost and stay with this ball. I'm trying to avoid the demos. Maybe get, get a little bump here, but good covery, recovery from Jay. Get behind my teammate. Good control in the corner. I can wait in mid here, see what he does. I see that someone's challenging us. So I'm going to loop back instead. You can see that's why, because it could be shot towards target. But I'm going to leave this at the wall and hopefully get a challenge as soon as possible. It's over Jay's head. I'll wait for this bounce. Go for a shot. Good save, though. And now, Va I'm going to call him Vatira because he's, <laughs> he's basically Vatira. Um, he's going back corner. Good control. Good first touch, too. Pops it over, but gets bumped. That's a good dunk, but it's going to be towards the wall. So it should be, hopefully, a touch from my teammate. Got 12 boost now. Really hoping for a good 50 here. If he doesn't get this boost, I get the boost for free. Perfect. He should have stayed, taken that boost. That's a really good demo on the way out. Okay. This is fine. Let's see what they do here. Just trying to force the challenges. And you can see that now there's nobody on this ball. Good bump. Get that boost. Perfect. I got 40 boost in mid. This is enough for me to sit in mid and wait for the passing. Or wait for a 50-50 to come out. And at that point, like, it's kind of scary to go for a pass because they can cut it off pretty easily when the ball's falling towards the ground. So instead, I just wait for that, that ball to spill out. I see my teammate trying to like challenge, but the ball's moving faster than Supersonic, so there's no way he could really reliably make a touch. And I know that when I'm watching that ball, that it's gonna be all me. He's gotta stall for a play. Nice finish. Really good play from him. I didn't really exactly see what happened. I think there was like a bit of a stall in the midfield or on the goal line, and my teammate just covered the backboard himself. This could bounce into a good spot. The better thing to do there is shoot that on target, but I'm just gonna put it into the corner. Um, you can put that, pop that into on target, and it's really dangerous for uh, players to deal with. He's going to back off because he sees me up in the air first, and he's last man, which is smart. Now, I'm going to not let, the, let this guy turn. Although, Jay does have control. Good first touch from Vatira. <laughs> so weird calling him Vatira, but here we are. All right. Most making in the field has the ball. I am last man. Vatira's still in the net, so this is a little dangerous. He does do a flick early. I'm just going to do a little pop towards the left side. So much time in the field. He gets a good setup. Keep pressure just popping it up here. I could have controlled that too. I hope this guy has a good touch, if any at all. Yeah, he's got a touch, but that does make it a little awkward now because there's uh, it's over our net. But we do get a pop. It's going to be a pop off the backboard, though. Great recovery. I'm going to see if this guy wants to turn on the ball. I'm going to try and bump him. My teammate's still very low, though. That should give him space in the corner to get that boost first. He unfortunately... Oh, hello? Oh, oh yeah, that's that, that, that's fine. Yeah, my game crashed. That's yeah, that's, that's cool. They scored. <laughs> okay, we're back, and my car is different. Okay, I'm here. All right, I got control off the kickoff, and we go for a direct shot. Good save. I'm gonna sit behind my teammate here. Should be fine. All right, see what he does here. I'm going to leave that mid boost for my teammate, and then I'm just going to let him get between the ball if he wants to. But the guy threw the ball away, so I'm just going to hit this up this curve. This is a good spot to put it, because see, I can get control immediately. This should be controlled. The better play here is to bring that back. Instead of, see how he popped it towards the, the opponents, and then they get a shot on target? If he controlled that back corner off that play to stall for me to get more time, now I'm stuck with low boost because I had to recover on the save. If he controlled that back corner, I would have been able to get the back right, and then uh, continue to play it on the field, but... Sometimes trying to keep up too much pressure is not the play to make because you're just throwing off uh, your teammate's rotation. It's a good dunk from the opponents, but 
Now I'm going to try and play this into the corner safely of the wall. I'll let this guy make a, a, a challenge of some sort. It's a good bump. I'm going to bump him off if I can. Nice save. Now I'm going to be on the left side here. He should be able to get the mid boost on his play forward. I'll pop this up nice and high first. See if they go for it. It's a really good bump because I would have been on that ball. My teammate was really close though. It was a little scary. I got my boost taken, but I did get a good touch off the wall. I'm going to hit this up around the ramp, see what they do. Probably going to be a clear. But they have to control this really well, and they do do a decent job, but I'm on the ball here. Batir can just leave this on the ground. He does. Good play. And uh, we're in overtime for some reason. I don't know what happened. Something, something to do with the... I thought it was in. Okay. Okay, first touch was a little heavy. But now they let go of the ball. You can see I'm just like trying to posture for a for a touch. I see my teammate might be on the wall. Yeah, it's tough. I'm gonna get it over him though, because uh, I was still on the wall there. I hit this down to the right side. Should be my teammate to follow it. Beautiful. That's great positioning. Maybe a finish. Nice one. There we go. Beautifully done. Yeah, that's that's dangerous. Like the the play that I made there. Like I I'm trusting Vatira because he's actually been playing really really solid. Um, to make the follow-up there but that is a bit of a scary pass to make because it can be cut off by the opponents if my teammate isn't directly ready but he was and it was a good play and he got the finish off the backboard all right game number two we got threes this time we have uh two duos in the lobby so always with duos you gotta be careful of like them just playing for themselves um you never know if they're gonna like actually involve their third because to be honest like if i'm playing with a duo and like we're in solo like solo queue kind of vibes a lot of times we just try to make passing plays with each other, which maybe isn't right, but at the same time, I don't trust a lot of people, so just the reality of it. I'm going to get a clear here. I should be shocked to get the return, but someone should be here. <laughs> Dude, this guy's name. I got it. I, I got it, bro. Don't worry. Good 50. I'm going to try and bump this guy instead of going for the ball, and then hopefully that leaves a spot for my teammates to get in. My teammate's waiting behind me. I'm going to get back just to make sure he knows he can go in here. Well, he ends up backing off. So I'll go. Oh, my teammate's going. I can push up here. This should force the ball off of the uh, the player there. Well, the second they flip that ball off, there's no way they can get involved on the next touch. Okay, there we go. Just waiting for to see what happens there. Go for a pop off the backboard. It should be uh, one of them to clear it. Sometimes you're just peppering shots to sort of make them do something. And right here, we can cut this off really early. Go for a direct shot. Good save. Should be a turn from Bob here. Looks like Freaked has it. Both players went. So I have lots of space on this ball. I'll make a, a first touch, and then I'll go for a chip shot at the last second. There's so much time there to make little touches um, to go for, like, space here. Because I see that the player on the right is low boost. He's going for the corner uh, over there as well. So both players... Oh, no. I've been noticed. Both players are out of the game, and they got the last guy is a, a sitting duck in net, so I can just go for some sort of controlled play. You gotta be really careful though if you make a controlled uh, shot, uh, not to get dunked when your teammates are still rotating back. I might follow the second touch here. I'm hitting this to the left side around the the, the net. You gotta be a little bit careful with those though. Oh, a decent touch. Bob should follow this. Okay, Shock will have this. He might have a follow-up. He might catch this, too. He doesn't catch it, so now I'll pop off of the wall sideways. I want to hit that lateral. So that way it's... Ooh, I don't know about the jump. But I, I want to hit that, like, directly sideways because my teammates are really far behind me. And if I hit that forward on any angles, then, um, unfortunately, it's going to be to the opponent more than anybody else. I'm hit this to my teammate. This off the backboard. Bob should be able to go for this. Good try. I think my teammate should be there first. So I'm just going to sit on the back. Wow, it's just in, actually. What a save. Great finish. I put some trust in my teammate that he was going to spawn and be there, ready for that ball to spill out, which he was. And I was going to go for the bump on this guy if he didn't jump earlier, but he did get a touch. And just ripping fat. Yeah, that guy, um, he uh, won the ball there. I'm just going to grab left mid. See what Bob Duncan does. He's got a bit of a, a rough touch. It does give it right back to them. I'm going to pop this up. I see my teammate can follow it. 
I try to put that closer to my teammates than the opponents. Looks like this guy's not going, so I'm just going to stay with the ball here. Good 50. I can drop on this. Good pressure. Waiting for the touches here. It's going to be one of them to clear this off the wall. There's nobody really near the ball. And look at this. No one wants to challenge me. So I'm going to pop this around to the left side. Should be one of my teammates to follow it. Decent try. Like the control here. Just waiting in mid to see what happens. Freaked might might double commit with shock here. Watching Renegades clear as well. And now I can cut this off. I could follow this, but I'm just going to take the boost. Because they might miss anyway. And my teammates are going to be ready with more power. Good dunk. But my teammate can get in there. Great turn from Bob. We're keeping, keeping out the pressure really well here. Shock hits it away a little bit. So he's going to have to rush to the next ball. I know that, so I'm going to make a challenge. Just pop it over me, but look how much space we have on the field. Bob still has possession. I'm on the right side. He wants to clear it. Oh, no way. Okay, it's not in. He wants to get have space here. No one wants to challenge me. So many times we have space. I can control this in the corner. Just keep it close and be annoying. Nobody's challenging me again. Let's see what they do. Not the best flick for me, but there's so much space and time we have. And the more control you can get on the ball, the better. I'm scared of some sort of big clear coming. There it is. I hear somebody up, so I'm just going to try and race to that ball. Get one little touch here. Stay close to the ball. See what they do. Nobody's challenging me, so I'll just take a shot. And it's in. Yeah, so a lot of time on the ball. A lot of space. All, all the time. I don't need to just boom that towards their backboard. There's somebody ready on the backboard. There's somebody ready in the corner. And there's someone in net. So I'm playing none of those options. I'm playing away from all those players. So they have to be awkward. Um, have to use boost to cover the positions. Make sure they're really, really awkward in everything that they, they do. Every touch I want to make uh, should be awkward for the opponents. Like This guy has to use a lot of boost just to get to this ball. This guy's last man and he's on the ground. So I'm going to pop off the backboard because there's nobody there. Could be a shot opportunity. Look at once again. This guy has jumped twice. He's going to be very low. This guy's not going to challenge me. I'm just to stay close to the ball. Just making it awkward. Slowing the play down. Bumping players. Getting in the way. And look, even though they've made some touches, we have space on this. Oh, he's leaving it for me. Okay, that's fine. I was going to maybe let him go, but he backed off. Shot down the field. Totally fine. It's going to be Renegade here to keep the control. It's a good try from them. They keep it up. What a flick. It's not in. It's not in. Ugh, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Score it! Mid! We're keeping it up! Somebody! No! Oh, man, there were so many cars. That was a crazy second game. Yeah, so far I feel like just playing the, the, the space you have and playing around with the space of the opponents is super huge. I talked about this last episode. In 3v3 especially, there are six players in the field. So on average, you're going to be touching the ball 16.66% of the time. 80, 83-ish percent of your gameplay is off ball. And I think that's something that people don't really focus on. Playing awkwardly, playing positions that are super awkward. Like I'm not on the ball right now, but I'm just trying to play like positions that are gonna make it really difficult for them. Like right here, I don't wanna make this guy comfortable. So I'm just gonna stay close, make him do something. And I'm gonna take this boost as well. Actually, they can't get the recovery. I'll jump up for this now. It doesn't have great control. My teammate went up the wall early there. You could have seen that they were going for a shot early. I chip this now. Maybe go for the boost. Good demo, though. All right, so this is going to be off the backboard. I'll take this corner boost. It's a bit of an, a dangerous touch here, but we do stay close. I'm going to stay close on this ball. Let's make them panic. My teammate did go pretty far back, though. He has f almost nearly full boost. He shouldn't be that far away from the play, but... I'm going to touch this to the corner safely. Let my teammate get back. Look how I'm stalling for him to get boost or stay in a good position. 
Go for a shot on the field. It's going to be taken away from the opponent, but should be all right. Doesn't need to touch this. He can go back corner. Let them waste all their boost here. So they do with this touch. He misses. I'm going to pop this up. See if my team wants to follow it. Nice job. They'll definitely be saved, but it's good pressure. Let my teammate get behind me to go back corner boost. So I'm just stalling for him to go get boost. Get double 50s and look, now he's boosted up. He should be anyway. Good challenge. I'll go for this. My teammate is low boost and the boost that back there is not going to show up for a little bit. It'll show up probably like right now. Yeah, there it is. But I can't really challenge this right now because my, my teammate is still not behind me. I'm just going to pop it up. See if he cuts for me. He got that corner boost and then used a lot of his boost uh, to get back. You got to make sure you don't waste too much boost when you get a boost deal too because you want to like grab the boost and then stay conserved, stay full boost. Staying close. He could let that ball spill to me. You can see that like that was the last the first man on the ball. So like we want to make sure that we make it as awkward as possible for them. The more the ball spills out, the better. Because we can just keep pressure here. Okay, once again, I'm just gonna keep pressure here, just keep touches that keep it away from them. Pops on the backboard. See if he follows it. It's wise though not to fully go on that because uh, in that position, they, they are close to the ball. They could get a 50 that's that's awkward and, and puts us in a bad spot. Could be a surprise clear. So I like the patience there, and he's ready for it. I'll cheat up here. I got space in this corner here. I'm just going to wait for the, the touch to go down the wall. Make a soft touch. He might challenge me, which is fine, because nobody's really there. I see the other guy's, like, really far away. Good try on the 50. I don't want to get down one here. That's the biggest problem if it, if it does happen. Now, I want someone to be baited into the corner here. Doesn't look like he's going to bite. But smart of him. Why is it not to challenge me? Because there's nothing he can really do while he's moving up towards me. That's going to put them in a good spot. And I'm just going to... That's a really good demo. That's really good. I didn't ex exactly expect him to turn on that. That was really good for, from him. What I would do there if I knew that there were players like, would look for demos there is I would turn away or jump immediately with the ball. I, I chipped it around him to maybe make space in the middle of the field. Um, but with my teammate being forward, it's probably wise that I don't uh, play too risky. I did get the boost and the ball. So I'm just going to take a shot here off the backboard. This should be a clear from DX. And I can make it this touch. See, I don't have to bring this back to their side right away. My teammate's not fully in a good position yet uh, to make um, a play with me. So there's no reason for me to hit that down the field so fast. Cut this off. It's a decent turn from them. Ooh. Even if he hit that, that wouldn't have been the greatest touch. So I don't really like that rush, but a good try. It's going to be uh, a little dangerous here. I'm going to hit this up, see if my teammate can recover in time. Doesn't look like he's going, so i got to jump for this as well. I was hoping that he would recover fast and go over to the backboard. Bit of a slow rotation, but I'm ready for the pops. That's why I, I respect those positions um, on the ball. I respect the fact that he could turn... Uh, that into like some sort of pinch. Hit that too far. Now it's like basically a free ball because he hit that fa almost faster than Supersonic. Should be my teammate. Jeremy should have this. Good fake. Maybe big flicks. Not the best flick. Hit this towards target. See if they can save it. They can't. That's the kind of thing. If you don't, if you don't make a good good enough clear, it's gonna return back to another shot right here. Like D DX had time to catch that ball once it was flicked off the car. There wasn't really a lot of uh, threat on that ball. It wasn't very fast. It would have bounced before it even hit the goal line. So I can understand like being a little panicky because it's towards target, but we gotta be, gotta be a little mindful of where you're clearing that ball. I should just take this corner boost. Hit this mid, see if Jeremy can get there. I could have scored that myself, but Let's see if he cuts this off for me. It's beautiful. This is gonna be an awkward bounce. Gonna be off the corner. I already know that. So I'm hoping my teammate can follow it, which he does. Now my teammate is very, very low, so I don't want to like fully commit on anything that's going to put my teammate in, a, in an awkward spot. It would be my fault if he's low boost and can't cover anything after I make a bad 50 or a bad choice. So instead, I just try to play it safe, wait for the ball to be in a spot where I can get a good 50. I steal that mid too, and they're both really awkward on the side of the wall. So pretty, pretty good, solid, uh, you know, textbook gameplay there. Oh, we got Jeremy again, but he's on the other team this time. If this game does happen, which it does. All right, let's see how it goes. This is the final game, I believe. Nice. I'm going to go back corner here. I'm going to leave that boost for him, actually, and try to make a touch that's controlled. Uh, I left the boost and control. 
to me here. Maybe a pass. Uh, a, a low chip would have been perfect. Not even a chip, just like a, a like a little soft touch. I'm gonna see if he can cut for me. Which is a good touch. All four players are in the corner here. It's a little scary, but I did have the advantage a little bit. Let's go for a shot down the field. It should be saved, most likely. But I'm just gonna force him into the net. I'm gonna see where my teammate's positioned. Looks like he's pretty far, so I'm just gonna wait. Wait, see what they do. Maybe flick it up. He should have this still. Good save. Try and lead this on the field. I might get demoed from behind. Teammate is sitting wide. I guess he thought maybe there could be a pass or something, but that's not like the best spot for a pass. A really good pinch from us. Just waiting for Galaxy Wolf. He's going to definitely play this down the field. Okay, this could be a good chance for us. Looks like Jeremy might make a touch. Actually, ends up doinking off of my teammate instead. But I got a control touch one. Try to avoid the bump. But you can see me avoiding the bump actually got me off the ball, which is smart by the, uh, the other guy. I'll try and follow this up immediately. I actually, it's a really bad touch for me because it goes right back to the opponent on the wall. I could have controlled that a little better and kept that close. Get an early beat on that one player. And I have space on this ball. What I'm going to do is go off target with the ball. It's going to put him in a really weird spot. Let's see if my teammate wants to get in. He always seems to be pretty far away. But that's a really good bump, though. Unlucky. He didn't mean to do that, obviously. But maybe he can take control in the back corner. And I can get full boost here. Oh! Hello. I got the demo. I'm trying to stay close to this ball and just stay close and controlled. Good shot. Should be safe from Galaxy Wolf, though. I would say as we're getting closer and closer to SSL, it's getting more and more difficult to figure out like what level I should be playing at because it's getting closer and closer to like just consistent gameplay. But I feel like I'm maybe doing too much certain certain times, but I don't know. I'm doing my best. All right, it's off the wall. I'm gonna try and get in the way of the shot and see if I can turn on this so my teammate has a free ball. It's a good shot down the field and a finish. So that, that shot opportunity came out of the fact that I was trying to zone out the other guy. And he, he was scared of the bump. He ended up backing off. But then went way too wide and the goal was open. But actually, the opponents have more pressure on us right now. I could get beat here and I'm last man. So I'm just going to go back. The ball is closer to the opponents there. Let's see if we can take the boost. He did steal the boost. So now we're in a good spot where we're starving them a little bit. I'm going to take a control touch to the corner. And then try to stay with this. Take this corner as well, or mid. And even though they, they clear down the field, they should be pretty low boost. So they can't follow it. Good touch, but it'll be a, a clear on the field. I'm going to hit this back. See how I, I give myself some space? He might challenge this in the corner, but we keep uh, possession there. Either way, they're trying to rush it. I should have went a little bit faster to grab that boost, but that's okay. That's a good try from uh, Galaxy Wolf there. Bit of a miss, but I can get a touch off the wall. My teammate probably could have followed that, but he doesn't want to like overcrowd me, which makes sense. Let's see if he can get this, though. Great touch. Very awkward for him. I see I'm just covering any uh, any mistakes or any pops that like are awkward for us. Uh, it's unfortunately he took that boost. He had like 99, and I have zero, but I can go for the save here. I can't get the the ball reliably. My teammate's up there. That just in. Yeah, really wide rotation from I think it was Galaxy Wolf on the side there. Oh, uh, no, it was Jeremy actually. Yeah, really, he went for the mid boost. He maybe could have went for the back corner and still been safe, but mid boost is a little bit too over aggressive. Let's see what my teammate wants to do. Maybe cut it off. It's down the field. Good try in the follow up. I have space on this ball. You see, I have so much space. I'm just going to like wait for one of them to turn and then get the flick. And there we go. That's, that's honestly like that. That flick is so difficult for like players lower than, I don't know, Grand Champ to handle. But even in Grand Champ, I feel like that, that sometimes throws people off. I'm cheat up a little bit. This boost. Even though he makes this touch, he has no boost. So there's nothing he can really do with this ball. Okay, I say that and I miss. <laughs> I 
I should have touched it. I don't know why I thought he was going to leave, but he just like stayed on the ball. It's so funny. Uh, there's nothing you can really do with that ball if I made a touch on the backboard. This back corner is safe. Let's see if he gets a double. If he hits a double, it's actually to me. So that hitting that double is not good there because it just hits the ball away from... Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. That's a good shot. I'll cheat up here and see what happens. It's going to go back to me. I can keep this close in the corner here. He's probably going to aggressively challenge. Oh, he went for mid boost and turned. Oh, or corner boost. I probably could have played that a little faster as well. That was a good rotation. Really good aggression from Jeremy. Hit this to the side wall. Should I get the boost first? I'm just trying to stay close here. Because they have to they have to challenge me. I know he's gonna have to challenge because it's low time. Is it up? It's still up. Pop it up. Pop it up. Oh, it's dead. Well, that's a pretty good episode. Uh definitely good some good teammates, good rotations. Uh felt pretty comfortable with everybody. And honestly, the opponents played pretty well too. Um, biggest thing is just like some weaknesses with over aggression and um, not being ready for like those flicks, for example. No one was defending backboard. Um, but overall, rotations are getting much cleaner as we go through the uh, episodes here. Um, no division up to Grand Champion 2, unfortunately, today. But hope you guys enjoyed the episode either way. Like I said, I've been trying to stream more live on Twitch. So if you want to check it out, I'll be back uh, after my honeymoon. But until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, so we have uh, a guy with a duster, I guess it's called, and we've got Justin's face. I've basically got it where we need it. It might be a little too big, but I think what I'm going to first do is just select the background and get rid of this guy's head. So I can probably do something with the clone stamp. I can grab this and just go... Actually, it might make more sense to go the other way because this is going to get his head again, but we can kind of like work with it. Okay, that should remove most of his head, so now we can put Justin here. Let's get rid of the white. Justin's very happy to be dusting. <laughs> okay, dude. Yeah, let me just grab this guy. Let me just stick this here. I mean, it's it's got a dustbin in there, okay? It's close enough. <laughs> this is very low effort, but I, I like it. There we go. We did it. Big, uh, much better. Uh, you can still see it's a little messy, but like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's, no one will ever know. No one will ever know. There it is.